And now at six, part-time rabbi and aspiring artist. This man was in court today looking to get bail on charges of sexually molesting a little girl. The South Florida rabbi was in court today hoping to bail out on a non-bondable offense. He's accused of sexual assault. CBS 4's Gary Nelson tells us what the judge decided. Wearing a yarmulke and red jumpsuit designating high-profile inmates, part-time rabbi and gallery owner Steve Caro came to court hoping to get bail. He's accused of sexually molesting an 11-year-old girl here at the art gallery he owns on Miami Beach. He's a substitute rabbi at the Share Ezra Sephardic Synagogue. His supporters spilled out into the hallway at the courthouse. Justice will be the What do you believe the accusations are? No, I don't. I believe is innocent. According to police, Caro fondled the girl through her clothing, kissing her neck and rubbing her bottom in what he called an effort to cleanse her of negativity. When he was briefly released from jail last month in error, he tried to explain it. Very simple. It's love, harmony, cleansing, nothing else. There was nothing there inappropriate, nothing that I violated anybody's right. But this police report says the child was frightened. The victim became very nervous and began shaking and left the art gallery in a hurry. Caro insisted the girl had nothing to be afraid of. It was not touch, it was not touch, it was hug. And the way, the way I hug everybody, the way I hug all the kids, the way I caress, caress them, the way I give everybody love. In court, Caro caught a break. In addition, I have the defendant's passport that I'm happy to either give to the clerk. Judge Christina Miranda approved a deal between the defense and state. I will accept the agreement. Caro will be released on $50,000 bond, be under 24-hour-a-day house arrest with a GPS monitor, and can go nowhere near kids. When all the facts come out, this case is going to be resolved in a way that is favorable to the rabbi who enjoys an impeccable reputation. Miami Beach police have a somewhat different view of the cut of the rabbi's cloth. They've asked for the public's help in identifying possible additional victims. In Miami, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. We're learning more tonight about the murder of a man at a